Let's now try Mongo import utility in action. Attached to this lesson, you will find file called mongoimport.txt. In this file, I have prepared different templates for different Mongo import cases. This one, if you want to Mongo import into remote MongoDB server. This is for local MongoDB server. This option you should use if you want to import JSON array. And this one is for CSV import. I will import data into the new collection called new persons. And I will use such command. So I will use Mongo import to connect to remote server. Those are credentials for connection to this server. I will import data into the MyDB and into the collection called new persons. This collection is absent now and it will be created automatically. And I will need to create new persons.json file. Let's create it. File new and let's create file with two documents. So first document and second document. Please note that you don't need to add commas between documents. So first one, name, just Bob. And age, let's use shell mode syntax, number int 25. Let's make more room here. And next one, let's copy this part and paste here. Name Alice and age will be 27. Let's save this file to the desktop. So desktop and give it name new persons.json and let's save this. Use .json extension. So I use relative path to the new persons.json file. That's why I need to change directory to the folder where this file is located. So let's copy this command and go to the terminal. So change directory to the desktop and paste command and let's enter. So now you will see that you are connected to the remote server and imported two documents. So let's open Robo3T and let's refresh collections view. And here it is new persons collection. Double click it and you will find two documents in this collection. So here it is Alice and Bob. And please note that type of the age values is integer. You can verify this in the tree view, expand one of the documents and here you see int 32. Okay, let's now examine what will happen if I will try to insert document with duplicate underscore id. Let's copy underscore id for Bob and let's go back to notepad. Let's add this underscore id here. Don't forget comma here. And let's do the same for Alice. So copy this underscore id and paste here. Here it is. And let's save this file, command s. Let's go back to the terminal and let's execute same mongo import command. And now you will see result duplicate key error for both objects. And of course, those documents were not inserted into the collection. Let's verify this and in Robust3T you will get same two documents. Ok, that's it for Mongo import and let's go on with a Mongo dump utility. See you shortly.